Joshua warns Andy Ruiz Jr. before the heavyweight rematch that he's going to be a completely different animal and he's going to unleash the beast on Andy Ruiz for beating him the first time. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing if you want to become part of the gang gang. Notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats channel donations the venmo donations and the patreon family we working now anthony joshua he did an interview with sky sports and he says he's going to be basically a different animal different beast come rematch time i don't know what's up with the rematch because joshua's side announced the rematch and they said oh it's in saudi arabia woom, 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 december 7th and according to many sources in the industry they're saying andy ruiz He's not fully satisfied and he ain't signed. Like, so I gotta see how that plays out. But regarding the rematch, I think it will happen. I, I don't know how long it's gonna drag out to, you know, I don't know what they're gonna have to do to appease both sides to get this fight. But I do think the rematch, you know, is a legal thing. It's a rematch clause. So I think it'll happen. I just don't know if it's gonna stay in Saudi Arabia, if they're gonna give him more money. They're saying Andy Ruiz is only getting $9 million and they got all this money offered to them via the Saudi Arabian tycoon business people who want to throw on this fight. But regarding the rematch, Joshua swears that he's going to be a different person and a different fighter. He says, quote, it's a fight I know I can win, and that's what makes it important because I know I can win. What makes it more important is how I prepare for this fight, and that's why. When I looked at my options of what we need to do as a team, whether we keep it the same, add to what we have, or got rid of it. I thought option two was the best because I'm only a product of what I'm taught in the gym and I wanna to add to what I have so that when I go into the Ruiz rematch, he's gonna assume that there was the best Anthony Joshua in the ring and I think that I fought the best Ruiz in the ring that night. But when it comes to the rematch, he's gonna be dealing with a completely different beast. He goes on to say, I feel good, it's a little blip, a mistake I made and I would say that Ruiz was ready to be taken out I'm just gonna add to what I already have correct my wrongdoings and look forward to the rematch because I know it's a fight that I can win so that's basically what Joshua had to say he's gonna you know go Super Saiyan and, and unleash the beast unleash the fury he also said in a separate interview with JD Sports he said in the build-up things were as they should have been training is like a lifestyle for me i never have an issue with preparation it seemed like this was already written in the stars my purpose for the fight was i might fight deontay wilder next the purpose for this fight is what is he doing next it wasn't solely on winning the fight there was no pressure and no gain so that doesn't make sense he says fighting ruiz there was no gain for me I'm in America. I'm not being forced to go there. It's not a mandatory. I've just gone there because I want to do big things in boxing. You know, and I, I'm going to leave the separate interview and do a kind of a, a solo video. But that sounds pretty dumb to me. You know, the, every fight you got to treat it like it's your last. You've seen Maxim. You know, it literally was his last fight. So this is your life. This is the heavyweight division. You, you talking, Joshua was saying stuff like, oh, he wasn't my mandatory and I went willing to America. That don't have nothing to do with it. He, so you basically, Joshua's team is all over the place. Joshua says he didn't underestimate Ruiz, but now he's coming out with the excuse saying he was thinking about Wilder and preoccupied with that. And he was in a no pressure, no gain, no win situation. So he wasn't really focused. So what does that sound like? You know? How can you say you didn't underestimate somebody, but you're now saying months later after he knocks you out that, hey, you know, I wasn't completely focused and, you know, it was a no pressure situation. I didn't want to be in there with him. He's literally said these things in recent interviews. But regarding him saying he's going to be a new fighter, he, he's keeping the same team and he said he's going to add on to what he already has. I don't really know who he's going to add, so I'll, I'll save my my theories and thoughts on that because 
who is he is he like is he gonna relocate because if the fight's in saudi arabia are, are you gonna get a U, another uk trainer like dave caldwell or something or are you gonna try to get an american trainer and if you get an american trainer is he gonna live in england you know so there's a lot a lot of questions i have i think joshua needs an american trainer to help implement his style and he's saying that you know he's feeling good he made a mistake and he felt he the one thing that he said in this interview that makes absolutely no sense is he says ruiz is gonna think he fought the best version of me but that's not the case you know he's gonna get this newfound you know beast of joshua to come out but then he said i think i fought the best ruiz how the hell did he fight the best andy ruiz if Andy Ruiz came on late terms to satisfy and and fulfill a date that he was never in initially intended to be on. This was really Joshua versus Gerald Miller. Gerald Miller was the one pushing Anthony Joshua and talking about his mum and all that stuff. So I, I don't understand why Joshua in his recent interviews where he's talking about this, he's making it like the only person that can can have corrective action or improve from the first fight is him you are the one that shouldn't have even lost there was nobody versus a, you know there's a small group because i can't say nobody because i was one of the people you know for andy ruiz but there weren't many people that thought andy ruiz could pull it off period so you weren't even supposed to lose so you're not the only one that has something to prove you're not the only one that can improve and I don't understand why he's talking like that, as if he's the only person that can um, make corrections. And, you know, this is the <laughs> the skinny of it is this, mate. Andy Ruiz was brought on late terms, five, six weeks to prepare. So I'm pretty sure he had to string together him and Manny uh, Robles. They had to string together the best camp that they could late terms. You know, they might not. What if they wanted to fly in a guy from Germany or Russia to spar to mimic Joshua? Do you have time to do all that, you know, to orchestrate those things? So, no, they probably did the best that they could put together a last minute camp, last minute diet. His weight was more so, you know, really just because he was coming off of a, a quick turnaround being on the Danny Garcia card in April. The Danny Garcia Granados card, I think, was in April you know so maintaining his weight so you know this is just a different fight for both fighters Andy ruiz is living like a king right now buying mansions and stuff like that so we'll see if he retains it but i think andy ruiz he 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 has a lot he can improve just from having more time more preparation you know he's he said on record that he's planning on coming in like losing some more weight he wants to come in a little bit lighter and that makes perfect sense if you only have five six weeks to train and it's go time then you got to just get in the best you know half ass shape that you can and and do the best and that's what he did you know so it's more than meets the eye than than joshua's kind of leading on for me he's not the only one that can improve i think with with more time to prepare and better better preparation andy ruiz might be even more dangerous because he get and now he has the funds and the money and the finances i don't know what the situation was before but i know he definitely has it now he has people willing to help him see you got to understand when andy ruiz fought joshua the first time he was he was a fighter who was slept on he was a fighter who a lot of people didn't give a chance to win when you're on top of the world and you're you know meeting the president of mexico and being revered and everyone's like on your side because you just won and set history for mexico and you know, want to SB and, and all these great things on Jimmy Kimmel, then that means you're up. You're up right now. So I'm up right now. Now, with that being said, when someone's already doing well and already has momentum, I feel like more people are willing to, to extend that olive branch to you versus when you're down. I know me in my personal life, there's been times where I'm at the lowest of lows and I could have used the help, you know, but now through hard work and dedication and hustle and sacrifice, I've been able to get myself in a better situation to the point where everything's pretty cool. Everything's pretty stable, you know, bills paid and, and stuff like that. And life is is pretty good, you know, but 
now people are willing to help me and you know do these different things and i don't necessarily even need it because i'm pretty self-sustained versus there were times where i really needed help and those same people they didn't you know they weren't nowhere to be found so we know how people you know the bandwagon fair weather fans we know that so all in all i think andy ruiz has a lot of people on his side now a lot of people that may previously because he wasn't this big hot shot heavyweight at that time you know he'd already lost to joseph parker and these types of things maybe weren't willing to help him like i'm talking about i'm not talking about like individuals solely i'm talking about like companies he just fought Dimin Trinko. He fought, you know, had inactivity with, with top rank towards the end of his career, lost to Joseph Parker. So do you think supplement comp companies, for example, were going out of their way to, to send him products, free products and stuff like that to help out, to cook for him? You know, barbers were like lining up to cut his hair. You know, those things, you don't know if those were the case. But now that he's the man, you best believe people are, are reaching out and want to be in his corner and want to help in different ways that they can that's how that's how it goes so long story short joshua keeps saying it like <laughs> like as if he was the underdog and lost and he's the only one that can change he's the only one that can improve and i i feel quite the contrary i think andy ruiz i'm not saying he did anything bad because obviously he won and then you know blew up from it became a celebrity overnight and won an SB and all this stuff afterwards but what I mean is he he can improve simply just from a being more financially comfortable. You know, that that gives you more outlets and more avenues. You might be able to buy better groceries when your money's not as tight. You know, you might be able to get the best sparring people who want to spar with you, people who you know want to be in your camp and, and give you the best work versus when you only have five weeks to train, you might not have been able to get these things. You know, when you might not be able to get in the best shape of that you want in five, six weeks, but now he can do those things. So, you know, Joshua saying he's going to unleash the beast. It sounds like he's building himself up to me. I think it's going to be a good fight. Joshua has a shot to win, but I'm, I'm still favoring Andy Ruiz because Joshua's just doing a lot of talking. But first, we got to make sure the fight is still a go because I haven't heard anything from Andy Ruiz confirming this whole Saudi Arabia stuff. So. I'll see how that plays out. Let me know what you guys think. All in all, it should be a good fight. Joshua says, like, he's making it sound like he needed to lose because, you know, he wasn't he wasn't in a situation where he was motivated and all that. And it's just too many contradictions from Joshua's side for me. He said he didn't underestimate Andy Ruiz, but then what he's saying now sounds exactly like that. If you're now saying that, oh yeah i i wasn't motivated i was thinking about my next fight and my next move i was thinking about wilder why were you thinking about wilder when wilder had a he had an announcement the week of this ruiz fight stating his next two fights he said he was fighting luis ortiz then a couple days later before your before your fight and the day of the weigh-in he announced he's fighting not only luis ortiz but also he's fighting against tyson fury so it sounds like bullshit from joshua because he's saying he was so consumed and worried and preoccupied um, by Wilder and he wasn't motivated enough by Joshua. But then previously he said he didn't underestimate Ruiz. And again, further point would be, like I just said, why would you be so worried about Wilder when you had all last year opportunity to fight him? You could have fought him for 50 million, 50% 50 of the pay-per-view back in. You, you bypass that and rejected that offer only to lose to another American for less money, you know? And then on top of that, why would you be worried about Deontay Wilder when he announced his next two fights and it didn't involve you? And, and you're now saying that is the reason why you performed how you performed versus Ruiz. So we'll see who makes the best adjustments in the rematch. Let me know what you guys think. If you're new, consider subscribing. As always, hate, comment, and subscribe till next video is ego so, no, no. so if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel you can show your appreciation by going to the paypal donate button or the youtube support button and you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video much more to come thank you guys for your support boxing ego the future of boxing